Good day, students. This is Alice Kem. Today, I want to discuss some questions that may likely come out in the forthcoming WAHEC 2025 Chemistry Practica on Qualitative Analysis. This discussion today is based on a fully demonstrated practical and is going to solve likely questions that you may come across in this forthcoming WAHEC 2025 chemistry practical on qualitative analysis. Let's go to the question. C is a mixture of an inorganic and organic compound. Carry out the following exercises on C. Record your observations and inferences in the table below. Like I said earlier, I have performed this practical in the lab and that is why I am giving you the observations and the inferences that I obtained as a result of the test. A, take a small sample of C in a beaker, add the sea water to it and stir it. What is the observation? C solid dissolved to give pale blue solution. And the inference is this. C is a mixture of two soluble substances. And as a result of the pale blue solution, we can infer that copper two ions are likely suspected. Test B. The solution from above, that is C aqueous, test it with litmus paper. And the observation is this. C aqueous turns blue litmus paper red. And any solution that turns blue litmus paper red is likely to be an acidic solution. So your inference is C aqueous is acidic. Test C. Take a little amount of C aqueous. Add sodium hydroxide aqueous in drops. And the observation is blue gelatinous precipitates. Because you have blue gelatinous precipitates, copper 2 ions is present. Then add excess sodium hydroxide. You discover that blue gelatinous precipitates remains insoluble, and that gives us copper 2 present. Then this mixture subject it to it. When you eat it, you will notice a reddish brown precipitate. And that will show that reducing sugar is present. Reducing sugar is what? Present. Take the same ethyl solution of C. Add aqueous ammonia in drops. You will notice a blue gelatinous precipitate. And that indicates presence of copper. The solution above, add excess aqueous ammonia. And you will observe that blue gelatinous precipitate dissolve to form deep blue solution. When you have formation of deep blue solution, then you can confirm copper. You can confirm copper. 
to the same actual solution of C. Add barium chloride solution. When you add barium chloride solution, you will notice a white precipitate. And the inference is presence of carbonate ions or sulfate ions or sulfite ions or sulfide s2 minus they are likely to be present to this solution add dilute hcl in ss then the observation is white precipitate insoluble if the white pres precipitate obtained if the white precipitate obtained earlier on remains insoluble after adding dilute HCl in excess, then you will confirm sulfate ion because all other three ions they are soluble. So it's only sulfate ion that will remain insoluble. This particular test can be reversed. They can bring it in another form. Instead of adding barium chloride first, they may ask you to add dilute HCl acid first to aqueous solution of C. If you add dilute HCl acid to aqueous solution of C, there won't be any feasible reaction. So you are going to write no feasible reaction. And when there is no feasible reaction, that means carbonate, sulfite, and sulfide ions are absent in the solution. These three ions, CO32 minus, SO32 minus, S2 minus, they are absent in the solution. But immediately you had barium chloride solution you will notice a white precipitate and that will confirm the presence of sulfate ion that will confirm the presence of sulfate ion now to test f i want to look at f first actual solution of c you had sodium hydroxide solution in drops then you will notice blue gelatinous precipitate you will notice a blue precipitate and that one also shows presence of copper 2 ions but when you now warm it you will notice a reddish brown precipitate and that shows that there is presence of a reducing sugar in that solution but how will you confirm this reducing sugar and that brings us to test g take a little portion of c aqueous add your failing solutions a and b these failing solutions must be an equal molar what does that mean? If you want to add your failing solutions A and B, for instance, if you take like one cm cube of failing solution A, you take another one cm cube of failing solution B, you mix them together, you will now add it to aqueous solution of C. When you add these two solutions to aqueous solution of C, you will observe a deep blue solution a deep blue solution but when you subject it to eating or warming then you will notice a brick red or reddish brown precipitate a brick red or reddish brown precipitate and that one will confirm the presence of a reducing sugar or Alkana and 
and that will confirm the presence of a reducing sugar or alkana. Don't forget that here we have suspected that it's likely to be a reducing sugar, but here now we have confirmed that actually a reducing sugar is present is present in a cure solution of C as a result of the addition of failing solution A and B and warming that give us a brick red precipitate. I hope you got values from this analysis. It's a fully demonstrated practical in the lab. And I hope that the students that are preparing for the forthcoming YF 2025 chemistry practical will gain a lot from this video. Don't forget to follow me on this same channel, Kelly Scheme, subscribe and share. Till next time that I'll be bringing you another interesting topic in chemistry. I say bye.